I was driving through Livonia with my mom yesterday, and she asked to see the very first house they ever bought. Like right after marriage, like they only lived in an apartment at first. They lived in in Livonia back and in the day. Yeah, so the Livonia, very first house. And so we stopped by the little house they lived in. She remembered the address right off the bat. Now I'm talking about 1965. Wow. Okay, my parents are are on the older edge. Uh, I'll say I'll try and be gentle about how I say that because they're listening right now. But um, yeah, I always hear. All the stories. Anytime anyone mentions Michigan or Livonia, my parents have to talk about the, oh, that, that old house probably still has the same orange curtains hanging in the window, and they probably have the, the... So, like, I finally said, all right, what's the address? Let's drive by. My mom hasn't been by there in, like, 30, 40 years. So we drive by, and I pull over. I said, get out. Let's take... I'll take a picture of your mom in front of the house. And... um we get out to take pictures. Well, I think we started to creep out. The owner was in the back of the house in the driveway, and he saw us, and he came around like to see what we're doing. It looked a little creepy that I'm taking pictures of his house. So I said, oh, I'm, you know, my mom lived here back in, in the old days. And uh, next thing you know, he's inviting us in the house. Wow. He's saying, you want to see what we did to it? You want to see? But I said we couldn't. I said, no, we can't. We have to run because – I already knew my mom was going to tell him the entire life history of every family that ever lived on Orange Lawn and before he, they lived there and, had, you know, start telling every story about the tulips she planted in 1966. And I was like, oh, my gosh, we have things to do. So when the housing market takes a crap, I'm going to buy that house and I'm going to turn it into a Motown museum. We oh, had to go back you. and see what it was. We're going to did you were you conceived in that house? Uh, I'm not sure. I might have been because they lived there with my two older brothers. It's going to be like the Motown Museum. We do tours. I think because somewhere right before I was born, they were transferred. My dad's job took them they, to, to the Philadelphia. East Coast? So yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm <laughs> I'm not sure. Could you imagine a, put a plaque out? Actually, that's what I'm going to do. Forget buying the house. Okay. I'm going to go buy myself a plaque and I'm going to put it in front and say, "This is the house where where Spike <laughs> and Mojo it, in the morning was conceived." Doesn't Bobby Bones have that for his hometown? He probably does. No, he does I, for he real. Does. I it's know. Like a road I'm saying sign. the home he, of the yeah. home he, of. And he and guess who bought that road sign? Bobby he does Bones. it. Bobby 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 does it big. Um, My okay. mom was talking this poor guy's ear off about it. I go, yeah, we had a crack in the basement wall and this and that. And my my dad painted the garage red and the doors. And I see now they're not red anymore. And and then, but the guy that lived there, the gentleman was a little older too. So he started telling stories about when he moved in and who he bought it from. And I was like, oh my God, I just want to take a picture. This is like- <laughs> do, you, do, you, they get, do people get offended if you go to your old house that you used to live in and say, I used to live here. And then you go and you go, yeah, why, why'd you do this? Well, that's, <laughs> why well, that's what I was going to ask on the air. I was going to ask if anybody ever had someone knock on their door and say, I used to live here mm-hmm. and ask if they could come in and see it or, you know, because nowadays you just figure that's probably a scam. You don't want to invite yeah. strangers right. in your house. I would love to go back and see the house that I was was born in in Brownstown. I haven't been back since we moved out when I was You should drive by kindergarten. I drive by yeah. the house that I w- uh, lived in as a kid, 3113. I'll never yeah. forget. I remember it. the street it was Trailer Ridge Court in Brownstown, but I can't remember that. My mom and dad would remember the address, mm-hmm. but I, I remember yeah, my I my that. old home my old phone number from Do you? Yeah. I remember my I grandma's too. old phone numbers. I don't remember yeah. my own. Phone. Well, because we didn't have anything saved in a phone, we had to dial them. Yeah. We had to know yeah. the numbers back yeah. then. Yeah. But my my parents' home they bought for 16,000. And now we just looked wow. it up on Zillow as two hundred thousand. Wow! And it's it's only a thousand square feet. So yeah. Hey, what's up, Antonia? Good morning, guys. How are you? We're good. What's going on, Antonia? So I'm driving to work and I'm listening to you guys. So my wife and I a couple of years ago were looking for a house. We were looking to move, but we hadn't put our house up for sale that we owned in Holly yet. Mm-hmm. And the house that my dad grew up in, like that he was born in, that my grandma and my grandpa had bought, was up for sale. And we were considering buying it just because how you know how cool. But it just didn't line up with the sale of our house in Holly. So we ended up in South Line instead. But the uh, house that he grew up in was Bloomfield. So. Oh, wow. Uh, so it's a pretty yeah, place. Have you cool. ever thought about just driving by? Or did you see it when you were thinking about buying it? Did you go tour it? Oh, we, yeah, we looked. Yeah, we looked. It was cool. Really cool. Yeah, I went into so. my old house. It was for sale. And this was years ago. And I could not believe they had my, old, old, my parents' old furniture. My dad gave them my mom and dad's old bed. My mom 
died in that bed. Oh. Wow. It was so weird. It obviously wow. was probably different mattress and stuff. Sure. But I remember their, you know, their headboard and everything. And I said, my sister Pat started bawling her eyes out. Oh, I bet. And the real estate agent was looking like, why is this woman crying? But it was <laughs> very emotional time. What's up, April? Hi, good morning. Good morning. What's going on? N- nothing. Listening to you guys this morning. So one of the funniest things happened. Me and my husband were doing the walkthrough of our home, and the lady drove down the street. She was like, oh, my God, what I used to stay here. Like, I love this house. She was like, can I show you guys some cool things that you probably don't even know here? We're like, well, like, this is really weird. Yeah. But- Okay, what the heck? So we're like, yeah, like, come on, like, with her eyes. So anyway, she was, like, taking us upstairs, and, like, in the attic closet area was, like, another little shelf, and we didn't even, like, it was, like, a little underground there. Oh, she knew all the um, secrets. Yeah. It was, like, we wouldn't have never even known that. Like, even the house inspection that we yeah. did, everything, like, we I, wouldn't have never known wow. that. Wow. I love when people, I love when people say the house that we st- we stayed at. I love that when people, the, how you said that. <laughs> like yeah, it was a quick stop. It was so weird. Yeah. We were like, what? The eighteen double era, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, that's wild. That, that, yeah, she'd actually be valuable information of knowing everything about the house. What's up, Victoria? Hey guys, I love you so much. Um, so I grew up in Allen Park, and I am the youngest of four siblings. And my mom had to sell the house, I want to say back in, shoot, 2016-ish. And now someone lives there. And I, anytime I'm in the neighborhood, I'm tempted to knock on the door because there's a car in the driveway, but towards the backyard. And I'm like, no, because what if it's 2022? He's going to think, what the hell is this girl doing in this house? I'm like, I'll start stuttering because I get nervous sometimes. (laughs) And then I'll start being like, but I I grew up in this house, uh, but my mom had to sell it. And now we're at like 2022 and I'm about to be 30 years old. And I tell my mom all the time, you should do it. Yeah. But I'm like, I've seen what they've done to it when my mom, after my mom sold it, because there's been two liver, like people living in there on and off. So I think there was been like, we had carpet, they had hardwood floors now. Wow. And I'm like, I want to go inside. You but know what? You should, you, you should do actually what uh, Patricia did. Patricia, what, what, or actually what people did to you. What did somebody do to you? So a few years ago, we got a letter in the mail and um, it was from out of state and it were, there was a picture, a black and white picture of my house, like back in the day, like years ago. And um, where my driveway is was not a driveway. It was a alley and they had trees. It was just so That's cool. cool. The letter that they sent explained like everything, how everything I was. That, that wow. is actually cool. Yeah. I like that. See, I drive by the first house I ever bought in Ferndale and I get mad because they, you know, I put so much work into staining the wood and the deck and everything, and then I see they just trashed it, and I'm like, oh, oh I want to stop by, but just to yell at them for not taking <laughs> care of it. Why would you move? Why you, you took down all the flowers I planted? <laughs>